how to make lasagna recipe, easy lasagna recipe, coming up next. Hi friends, it's Elizabeth with Abundant Apartment Lifestyle, and today we're gonna make an easy lasagna recipe, how to make lasagna at home. You're going to love this simple recipe. Make sure you click like and subscribe and check out our other healthy dinner ideas down below. So first you're gonna need one pound of ground beef or a pound of Italian sausage, whatever you happen to have three garlic cloves. I love fresh garlic because it's really, really simple to do. You just simply chop off the ends, peel off the skin, and then you can smash it with your butcher knife and dice into little pieces while your ground beef or your Italian sausage is cooking, then simply add in your garlic. I do like to cook, and you'll see in my pan, an extra pound of beef in there, just because I will take that and separate. It's easy for my meal prep, and I will keep that in the refrigerator for another easy recipe and multitasking and multi-cleaning up afterwards with my meal prep. So I'm getting my garlic all chopped up, my three cloves of it. You could actually use even one more clove if you like a lot of garlic, I do. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in to saute with my meat as my meat is cooking thoroughly through and get that nice and brown for the meat and for the, this is gonna be part of your lasagna recipe. Next, I have fresh eggplant from my garden. I have white eggplant and the purple eggplant. You could use any sort of vegetables you want. I like to squeeze in for, to make it a little bit more healthy and hide, so to speak, in the sauce vegetables so my kid and my husband don't notice that there's veggies added. I did put one cup of the eggplant in there. You could do squash, eggplant, zucchini, onion. Um, you could add one cup of onion, but make sure your meat's thoroughly brown, drain it out, and then go ahead and saute your veggies in there. One or two cups, you can easily hide those in the recipe. Your family's not going to notice, but there's added health benefits of having those veggies. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in for our cheese layer, two cups of, I have cottage cheese. You could use ricotta. I just happened to run out of ricotta and I had uh, the cottage cheese in there and I'm gonna mix it in my blender. If you have ricotta, you don't need to use your blender or food processor, but because I have two cups of uh, the cottage cheese, I'm gonna use my blender to make it a ricotta and put in one egg and beat it together with your ricotta or your, your cottage cheese along with one fourth of cup of Greek fresh Jack seasoning, a pinch of fresh Jack's cracked pepper, and a pinch of fresh Jack's pink Himalayan salt. Fresh Jack's did sponsor this video. Thank you so much, Fresh Jack's, for your incredible clean spices, your clean ingredients. I will put in the description link below how you can order your Fresh Jack's. They also, for every two big bottles purchased, will donate a meal to a child who is hungry to help prevent childhood hunger. So order the gift back packages or order the two big bottles. I highly recommend this Greek seasoning. It tastes like nothing you've ever tried before. And a huge thank you for Fresh Jack's sponsoring this video. So mix a fourth a cup of your Greek seasoning into your recipe. Then I went ahead and added in 25 ounces of marinara sauce. I like Rayos, but you could use whichever one you wanted. Mix your marinara in with your beef along with another teaspoon of that delicious Fresh Jack's organic Greek seasoning. My friends, your lasagna, your homemade lasagna is going to be so simple adding the seasoning because there's such flavor and it tastes so fresh. Go ahead and then add in with it a fourth a cup of um, Parmesan cheese into your cheese mixture. For meat sauce, we're gonna go ahead and start layering our homemade lasagna. This easy lasagna recipe, put down some of your meat sauce. You're literally gonna use a third of the recipe. So a third of your meat sauce, then put down your noodles. You're gonna use 12 lasagna noodles. Add on top of that again, your noodles, your meat sauce, and then your cheese mixture. Mix together all of your cottage cheese or ricotta, your fresh jack seasoning, your one egg and your Parmesan. Mix that all together um, and then put on another layer of your noodles, another layer of your meat sauce. And we're using four cuts of mozzarella cheese on top and then throughout your cheese mixture seasoning, cooked at 350 degrees, covered with foil for 45 minutes, and then uncover for the last 15. Let it sit for 15 minutes before you serve it. And again, don't forget to order Fresh Jacks down in the description link below. Make it a powerful day, my friends.